I am keeping this guy super busy, everybody. Today's fix-it repair on the farm is reattaching the old muffler on the Dodge. You know she's pretty, but she's loud. And I get looks everywhere I go. I tell him all the time, people are shaking their heads at me going tisk 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 for our paid for vehicle while they're driving around in a lemon Chevy. You can't fault them for that. They only had two years on their last one, so they had to get a new one. But I'll tell you what, this thing starts almost all the time. And when it doesn't want to start, it's because it's too cold and it needs to be plugged in. So at some point, he lost his muffler. And he stopped on the side of the road and he picked it up. That was smart. Turns out there wasn't a thing wrong with the muffler at all. The exhaust pipe had rusted. So he was going to put a patch in it. It needed about a three, three inch deal in it. He took it down to work on it and he saw the whole thing needed to be redone. So let's get under here a little bit. I can't see it. So when he's done welding over there, I'll get under there and show you his fabrication job. I can't tell you how many of his shirts have burn holes in them from welding. He's out here with nothing on. You can show them the pipe up there that I made. What's that fluid dripping up there? Just water out of the box. Okay. The drain hole, because I jacked it up. What do you want me to show? What I get is actually up there. Okay. So you need to get another board. This is nothing I did back here. Oh, I need some cardboard or something. I can't move a board. Well, it's always nice to see it working, and I've got a pile of things that need welded. So I asked him yesterday, hey, you got some time you want to put that muffler back on the Dodge and you know what there were two trips out for special parts we're gonna get a three inch section and needed some bolts or something didn't you he says yeah that's the trouble about running one vehicle for the family but it's a good thing during this time because only one person needs to be going out anyway Those essential businesses being car parts stores are open, which is good for us because farms are essential. This truck is essential. I had a load of straw have to go out the other day and we had to put 20 bales in it. Works real good to get those bales from there to the front. One of the boys and I went somewhere and they said I smelled like exhaust, so I noticed it had been coming in the cab. Wanted that quieted down a bit and not smelling like exhaust. Well, here's his nice job. He made all that from scratch. He just went and got some three inch straight pipe. He was able to fix the whole thing for $30. And the Dodge just keeps on going. He's going to start it up here in just a minute, and you can hear how quiet it's running. Well, if you don't remember the new jack we got, he doesn't really like it. So he's going to just drive off of the blocks he's got it up on. So he's going to start it up. Yeah. Every time we take it off... Alright, start it up. The ignition has been sticking a little bit. I had a hard time with it the other day. I probably about killed the starter. I drove home last week and didn't know that it was on and I called him and I said, strange lights are on that weren't normally on before. Alright, listen to that. Just the sound of the engine now. Good job! 
You are a master free mechanic. Free. You work for free. You work for food. Yeah. That's the best kind of mechanic to have. Now if we can just figure out the whole door situation. <laughs> we have to bungee cord it shut because it won't clip anymore. But I think it's just because the frame in the box where it joins is kind of dipped in. So anyways, that's our little repair everybody. He's going to get this moved out of my driveway. He was doing a little fussing around with that. It's been parked out back for a couple years and he wanted to, wanted to do some work on it and put some fuel in it I guess. I don't know. Whole nother story. So that's it for this everybody. Thanks for watching. Fix your own stuff. Save some money. See you next time. Bye bye.